And Christine, you're right about that. You think about it, all the rain that we've received so far, even more rain coming and all the damage it brings, but that might be the steep price we have to pay to finally get out of this drought. And you know, walk slowly, it is working. Watch. The atmospheric river blasting the Southland, leaving its mark of destruction in Chatsworth, that huge sinkhole still not filled. City crews working through the day to shore up the gaping hole, some 40 feet deep, big enough to swallow up two vehicles, and still a threat when the next approaching storm strikes this weekend. But that same atmospheric river, with its heavy hours-long downpours, more than leaving its mark in yet another way, easing our continuing drought. We're certainly moving past um, wh wh where we've been, which was a drought emergency. Um, and so portions of our, our service area were under mandatory restrictions. Um, these storms will certainly help us get past all that. The National Weather Service out with these graphics. Check it a closer look. This from October last year. The dark red areas there show the extreme and exceptional drought. Now this from just last Tuesday. Those red areas replaced by the coloring of moderate drought. Right. It's dramatic. Just a week ago, 27% of our state was under extreme drought conditions. We've essentially erased that just in this one week period. Still, it's not just about all the rain here. A quarter of LA's water supply comes from the Colorado River, and that's facing its own dwindling supply. I remember we were doing the stories on Lake Mead, how dry it was, how low it was, finding bodies out there from decades ago. Well, now it is starting to fill up a bit, but again, it's going to take a couple of seasons like this. And filling up the lakes and the reservoirs, really important in all of this. That's what kept us going through all those dry years. It's definitely going to help, and it's going to help us replenish our storage. Um, and that storage is what we um, relied on the last few years. That, as the drought debate is far from being washed away in Sacramento, where some lawmakers charge the state is wasting all of this rain by not saving it in storage areas instead, letting it just drain away to the ocean. We want water storage, and uh, a lot of these groups, unfortunately, are, are preventing us from doing that, and I'm, I'm hoping again, and I, I know I almost sound like a broken record, but these storms are reminding us that, hey, we, we have water to give to you, and you just need to capture it. And now live, he blames a lot of the environmentalists that he claims are getting in the way to stop a lot of these water storage projects from being built, becoming reality. One other point about the Metropolitan Water District, they plan next week to look at all the statistics, review the information. They say they may ease some of the water restrictions that are in place across our area, restrictions like watering our lawn. But they stress at this point with all the rain, your sprinklers now should be off, period, until further notice. Otherwise, it's just a waste of water. For now, we're live here in West L.A. Back to both of you we go.